Ten-year-old boy, status post-heart transplant. Now with respiratory arrest during the Pope's procession down fifth. Trauma one. 126, 150 over 92, and 22. 02 sat, 92 on 100 percent non-rebreather. Jimmy, your parents are right behind you, okay? And I'm here. Oh, good, jump in. Jimmy, we're right here. He's 10 years old, recent heart transplant. Well, two sets, still on low 90s. Push another 10 milligrams of Lasix. Jimmy, everything's gonna be okay. Just keep breathing, okay? His lungs are filled with fluid. Heart failure? An almost likely secondary acute rejection, which we need a left ventricular biopsy to confirm. Why is he rejecting the transplant? That only knows. So, uh, Jimmy's heart biopsy results show signs of acute rejection, and that's why your son collapsed. When is he gonna be all right? Well, I've increased his immunosuppressants, and that should treat this episode, but we need to find out why it happened in the first place. Now, were there any changes in his diet? Any rashes, colds, or upset stomach? Hmm. Well, can you think of anything different? Like, anything out of the ordinary? Mrs. Corrigan? Our insurance paid for the transplant, but they didn't pay for any of the post-op medications. Doesn't make any sense. The pills, they cost over $9,000 a month. Our church held the fundraiser, but it wasn't enough. Okay, and? We uh, started spreading out the pills. Like, just giving him one every other day. We're trying to make them last. Um, that's what made Jimmy sick. We did this. Well, I mean, it's real easy to uh, blame yourselves. That's not gonna make Jimmy better, okay? We just need to make sure that it never happens again. Right. But it will. We can't afford the pills. <laughs> and what are we supposed to do? How can I help? Oh, change the fundamental idiocracy of American healthcare. I'm working on it. I've got this kid. Just had a heart transplant. My family can't afford the post-op meds. What's the financial profile? Married, stable. Dad's a security guard, but pulls in about 45K a year. Too much to qualify for Medicaid. Or the community care fund. Well, we can help them in the short term, but they need a long-term solution. <sighs> Working class is caught in the middle. Maybe not. Um, you could get a divorce. Is this a joke? Look, if Patricia is a single mom with no income, she and Jimmy could qualify for Medicaid. And Medicaid would cover the cost of Jimmy's medication. But we love each other. Well, no one's questioning that. No one as Catholics. We don't even believe in divorce. You can't ask us to break something that's unbreakable. I, I can't even... I'm, I'm sorry. It's just... Uh, this system is flawed. And so is this solution, but I can't think of a better one. Get divorced. Save your son. Hey there. Can we talk for a minute? I just wanted to check in. You know, I know we hit you with a crazy idea. We were just trying to help you duck some red tape. Our marriage isn't red tape. I realize that. When Neil and I got married, we made a promise to our friends, our family, to God. It was a divine pact to each other. That's a promise. I mean, marriage is forever. I, I can't even imagine. Neil is our rock. Mrs. Corrigan, I won't abandon my family. It just be on paper. No render unto Caesar, that sort of thing. There has to be another way. We'd lose our community. We wouldn't be able to receive the Eucharist. I understand. But is that worth more than your son's life? Hey, maybe we could get remarried. You know, Jimmy's off his medications. Unfortunately, Jimmy will be on meds for the rest of his life. This is forever. I don't see any other way around it.
then we'll do it.